Hello, and welcome to another Fraser tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be reviewing the basics of entering a vehicle into your inventory. From the main Fraser screen, click on the Inventory button to bring up a list of vehicles that you currently have in your inventory. You can choose to display only your current inventory vehicles, only your sold vehicles, or both your inventory and sold vehicles together. And you can sort your vehicles by stock number, by make, by model, by VIN, or by the last six digits of the VIN. The Inventory Lookup screen will show you the basic information about your vehicle, including the color, body type, mileage, days you've had it on the lot, location code, and whether the vehicle is included in your vehicle uploads. To enter a new vehicle into your inventory, click on Add Vehicle. You may start by entering the stock number you would like to assign, or you may allow Fraser to automatically assign the stock number for you. When you enter the VIN, Fraser will automatically fill in some of the vehicle information for you, including the year, make, model, transmission, engine size, vehicle features, and so on. It is important to review and edit the vehicle features on the sales tab of the vehicle screen, as all available features for that vehicle will display. You may need to customize the list for the specific vehicle on your lot. While on this screen, you may also enter the retail price, required down payment, and any extra sales or internet comments about this vehicle. There's also a checkbox to include or not include this vehicle in your online vehicle uploads. You can also print the vehicle window sticker or price sheet in the top corner. Back on the main General tab, continue to enter any additional vehicle information. Then you may start entering your cost, the date you purchased the vehicle, the buyer's fee, and any lot fees. If there are any reconditioning or added costs, click the button next to Added Costs, and then add costs to apply them to the vehicle. You can choose which account you use to purchase the vehicle or create a bill for you to pay later. If you have signed up for Kelly Blue Book, NADA, NMVTIS, AutoCheck, or Carfax, you may click the appropriate button on the side of the screen to immediately pull reports for this vehicle. You may also easily check the availability and activate Sirius XM radio at no cost to your dealership. Fraser also provides an easy link to check for any open recalls that may be active on your vehicle. If you are flooring this vehicle, you can enter the information on tab 2. The previous owner information can be added here. And there is also a tab to add photos to a vehicle. Or any general notes or vehicle activity. For more detailed information on any of the vehicle screens, you may reference the Fraser Help Manual by clicking on the Help icon in the lower left. When you are finished, click Save Vehicle at the bottom to save your inventory. If you need to make any changes, just double-click the vehicle or highlight and click Change. You can display the vehicle cost and make changes to the vehicle file. Just remember to click Save Vehicle to save your changes when you're done. That is how to add vehicles to your inventory. For more detailed information on floor planning or adding vehicle photos, please refer to our helpful Fraser tutorials. And, as always, thank you for choosing Fraser.